uh, Maryland passed a law to use hip hop lyrics in any potential crime cases that a, a rapper is involved. So that's wild on a whole bunch of fucking different bases because like, you know, people fucking lie on music because it's fucking yeah. artful, right? Like the fuck? So what are your thoughts on that, on that law being passed? I don't think it's fair. I mean, suppose I make a song uh, where I'm speaking from like the perspective of a drug dealer yeah. And obviously, I'm not going to in the intro of the song be like, by the way, disclaimer, this is just all an art form or some yeah. shit. I'm just going to dive into the track. And in, the, like, in that voice, in that voice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I think that's unfair. I mean, I, the only positive I see from it is like, it'll it'll stop or like lessen violent, stupid lyric, lyrics that don't need to be out there. But on the flip side, I don't think it's fair because it is an art form and you can express yourself you can make believe and just say whatever and that it is what it is like i i just don't see how that can um how it matters like i mean isn't this usually like a complimentary evidence anyways like a bar i found your fingerprints on this dead chick and in your smash hit song you know kill a bitch uh you mentioned killing this same chick like, I don't know if that really matters at that point, right? Yeah, 100%, dude. Yeah, I don't get... I, you know, it's, I think it's saying setting a really bad fucking baseline on how to judge rappers in the future. Cause if, and that goes fucking, like, not viral, but passes from state to state. Bro, there's going to be some fucking problems for these rappers, bro, because they're name-dropping and saying a lot of shit. So mm -hmm. I really hope that does not go, like, wide-scale country all over the country because man i think the art will suffer because artists may be afraid to say certain things that may sound clever and good on a track but damn bro i hope it is I, that 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 that's wild to me that's trash that's a trash ruling because yeah, again it's already complex like you can use that as some kind of evidence but to actually use that as like a fucking like a base of like a fucking entire case that seems scary to me like that yeah. seems scary to me for sure yeah this is a tricky one but I mean, yeah, like how far back can you go and like the fuck, bro? Like, yeah, that too. Like, yeah, like, just like fucking accusing every rapper, like, <laughs> like, like, just never get arrested in fucking Maryland, bro, because they'll fucking go back to your '96 mixtape or some shit, like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it seems a little extra. Like, I don't, I don't know. If I see, uh, I see a lot of questionable things coming from it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's weird. Like, it's I don't know. Like. Like what was there a specific rapper that got in trouble for it? Like that, that it came out though, or was it like a rule that got passed? Uh, I got passed. I'm sure there was a rapper who got in trouble for it because I, f I feel like that's already happened. Didn't that happen to Bobby Shmurda? I mean, he's not from Maryland, but like, I'm pretty sure some of his lyrics may have been used for it. But it oh, really? it, it also is like kind of dumb when I hear like like when he says uh, whoever caught a body a week ago and stuff. I don't know if that's true. Maybe it's just making a, a hard lyric, but that, uh, is, that, that lyric is hard though, bro. Like yeah, a lot, that lyric is it's hard. hard. <laughs> but if it's true, it's also retarded. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, dude, I even Jay Z has a line in a, in a famous song where "I'll never catch a body again. My man will shoot you," and he points at Beanie Siegel, who had a current murder conviction at the time <laughs> of the fucking song, bro. Like, yeah. you know, just like no fucks were given the fucking '90s, bro. That was amazing. I was like, yeah. Well, maybe at that time, like, there were no known cases of... Yeah, yeah there's no social media for it to go viral and shit. But yeah, that, yeah, but yeah, I don't, I don't know, man, because that's like, but then like, again, that's like what's fucked up about hip hop, where like, they don't treat it as an art sometimes. Like, they, like, I feel like the, the people outside the culture, or even in the culture, but like, look at it as like, hip hop is real life. Like, everything you hear actually happened or will happen or happened before. Whereas, mm -hmm. like, if a new fucking... DiCaprio movie comes out, like you don't think he actually is like an illegal fucking Wall Street guy, do you? Like it's an art, like the different kind of art, bro. So like that's where I hate, like I, I hate that the uh, the bad rap, no pun intended, that hip hop gets um, when it comes to shit like this because it's like, bro, it's art. Like everything fucking Drake or Jay Z says is not maybe their story. It could be the person next to him's story, and he wanted to like put it shed light on it. Like I remember like multiple interviews that Tupac did it. He's like, bro, I haven't sold drugs ever in my life, but my friends do. 
So I'm gonna talk mm -hmm. about it. You know what I mean? In a cool, fucking, creative kind of way. So yeah, um, yeah. That's that's the fucked up part. Yeah, I think it's it's going down a dangerous road with that if they don't figure figure out how to make it less vague. Yeah, I agree.